Now, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11 to 13 gives credence to the ongoing and unfinished work. He says, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Why? For the perfecting of the saints. Why? For the work of the ministry. Why? For the edifying of the body of Christ. Next verse. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Next verse. Next verse. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the sly of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in way to, be, to deceive. That shows you there's an ongoing work in our individual lives and also an ongoing work of the church where we have nations to reach. Mark 16, 15. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Hold on, look at me everybody. And preach the gospel to what? Eh? To every creature. So why don't we preach to animals? Goats and cows. They are part of creature. Yeah. I saw it in the Bible. There's nothing Dr. Damir that can say. I saw it in the Bible. It's written in black and white. It's written in black and white. God kill it and make it alive. I also saw in the Bible that we preach to every creature. So start preaching to the cat in your house. All the rats, gather them and have a Bible study. Disciple the cockroaches. Are they not creature? Is it not written? May I just follow the Bible? <laughs> preach to all creature. Gather all the snails. And when they are crawling on your legs, don't shout. They are God's creature. That's why we interpret the Bible. So when it says creature in Mark, then we look at Matthew's account of the same commission. All power is given to me in heaven and on earth. Go and make disciples of every nation. He doesn't use creature now because he is streamlining the creature to what he specifically have in mind. Make disciples of every nation. Nation. Nation in Bible language is not Nigeria, Ghana. Nation is a tribe or a group of people. So that knocks out animals. Teaching them to observe all things. And lo, I am with you always. So that's why we don't just take things with hook, line, and sinker. We allow the Bible patiently to arrive at conclusion. Listen, don't arrive at conclusion for scripture before the scripture concludes. Follow. Follow, follow. Keep following. Till the scriptures arrive at its conclusion. Then you can also see what the scripture concludes on the matter. Before you now can take a position. Otherwise just the creature without allowing scriptures explain that concept. Then we will have a church for rats. We will now grow cockroaches. Because they have to be saved. All creatures. We gather snakes and speak the word. We gather lions. We start assembling all kinds of ants. Soldier ant, police ant, <laughs> air force ant. <laughs> we gather them. Well, I'm teaching good this morning. So when the Bible gives you a word, it has to be studied in the light of the same scripture. Say I hear. I'm not hearing you at all. So all that is our ongoing work of the church. 